Hi, my name is Kyle Che. I've been a dialysis patient since 2013, and for five and a half years, I actually did peritoneal dialysis. Stay tuned to find out what fluid overload means, what are the symptoms, and how you try and reduce that fluid overload. Thanks for coming back on Kidney Journeys. So today we're talking about fluid overload. What are some of the symptoms of fluid overload? So if you have increased weight, if you have a higher blood pressure reading during the day or at night when you do your treatment, if you have breathing issues, which is a little bit more extreme version of fluid overload, if you have edema, so if you touch your shin and the knee and then sort of press on it and then there's an indention that doesn't come pop right back right away, that typically indicates that there is excess fluids on you and a bit of fluid overload. It's important for you to manage your fluids because one, you don't want your blood pressure to go up due to fluid-induced hypertension. And when blood pressure goes up, it hurts your kidneys even more. And it also hurts your heart because it's pumping harder. Dialysis patients may have reduced heart function over long term because your heart's constantly pumping, pumping, pumping much harder than it should be and inducing that higher blood pressure value or hypertension. Another thing you don't want to do with not managing fluids and having fluid overload is that it increases your weight and there's more fluids to remove. Now, on peritoneal dialysis, you would need to do a, often a higher dextrose treatment if you have too much excess fluids to try and remove that. The ideal formula is that your fluid intake for the day will be equal or less than your total UF, and look for the video on total UF difference definitions. The total UF plus the urination value should be equal to or greater than your total fluid intake volume for that day. So that means that you're removing excess fluids that you put in. And remember, there is also naturally fluids and waters in food. So depending on what kind of foods you're eating, if you're having soup or uh, cucumber, watermelon, and things like that, those are high water content value foods. But all foods have a natural water content in them as well. So that's why I typically say you want it to be a little bit higher than your fluid intake volume, whatever that intake volume is. If you have edema, again, you want to remove that. So you want to remove as much excess fluids to reach your target dry weight if possible. And then you would adjust the different strength of dextrose solution that you would use. Now, if you're new to peritoneal dialysis you, and you haven't been trained to do that, make sure you talk to your PD nurse. Either call the on-call PD nurse when you have fluid overload symptoms or when you're in the clinic with them, talk to them during business hours and ask them about how to adjust the different dextrose solutions. I don't want you to just go do that on your own, especially if you're new and have not been trained on it. So be safe. Now, the reason why you don't want to do it on your own or you want to be safe about how you're doing it is if you use too high of a solution strength for your treatments, you may end up getting dehydrated. If you get dehydrated, your blood pressure might drop. Some people pass out from too low blood pressure. More common is they start cramping in the legs or thighs or in the different hands. And that are typically signs during or after treatment that you're removing too much fluids and then getting dehydrated. You don't want to do that. It's not pleasant and it takes time to recover. And then you get more fatigue afterwards from getting too dehydrated. It's important to balance your fluids. So look for the signs of fluid overload manage your fluids, and then learn how to remove excess fluids from your body on peritoneal dialysis. Those are simple key things that folks need to learn over time while doing peritoneal dialysis. Thanks for joining me today. Comment below what you like or don't like about the video. If you do like it, give me a thumbs up. If this is the first time you're joining me at Kidney Journeys, please hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, do the treatments so that you can do the things you love with the folks you love to do it with. Thanks for joining me. My name is Kyle Chang at Kidney Journeys.